Well, hey there, folks. It's Cricky and Donna from Pennsylvania Mountain Homestead Hobby Farm. And going down yonder down here to take a look at this coop. Yeah, I finally got her done. And yeah, we put her together out of some wonky two by eights that were sitting out in the weather over at Steve's salvage yard. And I got the holes dug in the ground there, four of them, right where the beasel's at. And uh, you can see all the shale stones, same old story, same old song and dance in this area. I just put these down in there to keep them from closing up when the rains come and critters getting down there and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we got the ladder done on the thing here and uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Then we got the door track in um, and you know, the door will slip down these little tracks right here, you know, when it slides down. And of course it'll go past the bottom of the uh, floor here for the, for the windbreak and above the top of the door so a nice little track yeah both sides so we go inside take a look around still got some tools in there and such but yeah good solid two by eight you know we're gonna uh, just really enjoy this the girls are pretty much ready to come home uh, once I get uh, some mesh inside and, and the paint on it so yep Steve had this sitting on a uh, on a trailer and he said take it uh, if you want it because it's graying and warping and everything else and it had a bunch of screws sticking out of it you can see once i cut it though it's not punky it's solid good wood inside it just great on the outside <laughs> penny's having fun i think she thinks it's her playhouse now she thinks she owns it and the chickens aren't going to be able to go in <laughs> We're gonna put a piece of tar paper across the top and some metal to keep the wind out and some caulk in the seams on the outside so that the birds can't pick at it from the inside. And they're pretty tight seams, but we'll, we'll do it there. We'll just run a bead down um, and, and tighten it up. But I was really happy to build this out of old school materials in an old school way. <laughs> measuring up an 18 by 22 inch hatch that's going to slide in and keep the birds in and protect it from creatures and keep the heat in and we also got some mesh over yonder here that we're going to be putting in those windows and sides the little square wire mesh pretty heavy stuff um, and basically that's really why the coop's up off the ground to keep fox and critters, you know, from being able to go up, you know, high. So the mesh will go inside. And I reckon I'm gonna have to climb inside this thing like a little kid. Um, so I'm just checking it to make sure it's not gonna fall over on me and trap me in there or something. That would be kind of weird. I'd be claustrophobic. <laughs> anyway. Goes in the tracks on both sides and zips down. We got her sealed nice and flat. I made sure this cut was perfect. The chicks have feathers. They do really, really good in cold weather around here. People don't lose them a lot. They're they're used to it somehow. It's this room's going to be warm, and again, it's small, folks, and that's the idea. Is it's really easy to heat it for what we're trying to do here. We just want like three hens, two to three hens, probably three, you know, to get enough eggs for Donna and I to eat in some some chicken manure there for the garden. So. There's Mommy Beasel, Zoe Beasel, so a fly. Dudes, I have like flashbacks of being in my old tree house. Uh, and I just fender washered it, uh, top and bottom. It's looking pretty good. And right now it's gonna rain, so. I just got the door. Let's say she just goes right up against the wood here and down to the sill there. And in front of the floorboard here, yeah. And that's it. And so we figured it was time to put a metal roof on this thing. So I wandered over to Steve's salvage yard. Uh, and I'm just kind of wandering through the backyard here. He's got bicycles and windows and just stuff, 
you need when you're doing small projects at home, you know. He scraps a lot of metal too. Uh, these are neat. See, these are bus seats. I want to put some benches around the yard. These would be really neat to use, but that's another day, another project. But see, here's some sheet metal, some roofing metal, and I only need a little piece. And so I found a piece of green sheet metal in Steve's uh, salvage yard there, and uh, we put her on. So she's got a, a nice sheet metal roof, and we're going to put a gutter on the back to collect rainwater to uh, water the chickens right there at their own place. I'm going to get my butt up to the house because Donna's been calling me for dinner. She made some spaghettis and sausage, and I am starving. This is Cricky and Donna from PMH Hobby Farm Off Grid saying peace out and God bless.